Overall, you know, there remains a lot of uncertainty in the market, but I think that if, you know, for income-oriented investors who can withstand some volatility in their portfolio, um, I think closed-end closed -end funds could be the, uh, the vehicle to get them to where they want to go. Looking back at the first quarter of 2015, it was a great quarter for closed-end funds. Uh, across all the segments that I look at, the average NAV and price total return of funds were, was positive, except for in one segment, which is the Energy MLP, the Master Limited Partnership uh, funds, where they kind of tracked along with kind of the, the general oil market in general. Um, you know, discounts over the first three months came in, um, but not, you know, there wasn't any one uh, segment where it was like, wow, this really came in, but just kind of slow, gradual um, narrowing of discounts as we continue to see the uh, price total returns outperforming the NAV total returns. One of the surprising trends that came out of the first quarter was uh, senior loan funds. So last year, what we saw throughout the year was that uh, the underlying market for senior loans was driving the NAV total return to, I think over the course of the year, you know, two, three percent positive NAV total return. But on a price total return basis, it was negative, which caused discounts to widen across the space. In the first quarter, we've seen a reversal of that, where uh, investors are now becoming more interested. And so the price total return outpaced the NAV total return. Both of them were positive. But the net effect was that on average for that group, the uh, discount uh, narrowed about two and a half percentage points. As, as we stand here now at the beginning of the second quarter looking into the rest of 2015, I think a lot depends on you know, if and when the Federal Reserve raises rates. We've been on kind of hold now for many, you know, seem, seemingly many years uh, waiting for this to happen. And, uh, especially among closed-end funded uh, investors. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me as we continue to kind of wait for this uh, in interest rate increase uh, to see you know, senior loans continue the trend that they started in the first quarter with uh, you know, the discounts narrowing and the price return and NAV return both being positive. Um, it seems like a natural space for a lot of investors uh, to invest in because they feel that they can get kind of an interest rate um, hedge because their, their yield, um, they think their yield will go up as the as interest rates rise. For more information and data on closed end funds, visit our sponsor, cefconnect.com, the authority on closed end funds. This is Closed End Fund News.